Hello YouTube modeling community. Mike here, Mike's Miniature Motors. Um, doing my throwback Thursday um, car today. Uh, this is one of three of the uh, Fujimi 911 EM series cars I built. This is number 11. The uh, 911 Turbo Slope Nose as it's called. Um, Anyway, uh, kind of the story behind this, I was going to show you all three cars at once, and I thought, well, I'll break it into three different Thursdays. Um, this car is painted guards red. Uh, I decided to do the recessed parts of the wheels red, just to kind of make it a little different. Uh, any of you Porsche fans know that a lot of times those are either just, you know, the less silver, or oftentimes painted black, and the one I'll show you next week we'll have black there um you know when i was in my 20s i was a real porsche guy i i not ferrari as much uh i guess i was just a product of a risky business you know porsche there is no substitute um anyway uh kind of the story behind this the this car and, and the other two that i built um I was living in Waco at the time. You know, most of these cars are eight, built in the 80s. I was going to school in Waco. Um, there was a Porsche dealer in town. They had a 911 Turbo on the showroom floor. It was silver, the same that I ended up painting eat my uh, the one I'll show you probably next week. <clears throat> and they were nice enough. They let me crawl all over that car. I took all kinds of notes. And... Um, wired and plumbed the car as much as I possibly could. Now this one's not wired and plumbed. Uh, this one used to have the engine displayed next to it. If you build these EM kits, they uh, the engines are very detailed. In fact, if you the most intense one is uh, the 288 GTO Ferrari. There's 84 pieces alone in that engine. Um, uh, was it uh, Sean and, and Justin, uh, scale model car guy and uh, J Hart Model Works? They just recently did the 356. And they'll tell you that the engines are pretty intense, got the cranks in those and everything. Anyway, so yeah, there's no engine in this one. It's just painted garden. Look, I got cobwebs. Oh my goodness. I don't know if the camera shows that, but there's uh, cobwebs up in there. Anyway, uh, it's been in the display case for a long time. I was going to wax it before showing it to y'all this afternoon, but I just kind of wiped it down with a damp towel. Uh, it's painted testers, guards red. There is no clear. This is kind of my, uh, you know, I, I cleared some cars before. I cleared that the 959 that I've already shown y'all before. Um, I, I just, I did what didn't have a lot of luck with the testers clear, and I just, I didn't have a lot of money, so I didn't spend the money on the clear. This was just rubbed out with uh, what was called the treatment. Um, it was a, a polished wax. I don't know who marketed it, but it was just called the treatment. It was in a little tub, um, and it was made specifically for models. If you went to the hobby store, you usually found it sitting in a box on the counter, on the counter. Uh, so, uh, that's about it, guys. Um, if you like it, hit the thumbs up. Questions, comments, you know, I try to respond as quickly as possible. Uh, next week I will do the, uh, I did the, the number one EM, or EM number one, which is the 911 Turbo, the regular version. Um, and I'll show you the engine still in that one intact. Uh, the ignition wires, brake lines, etc., etc. Uh, so anyway, guys, y'all take care. Have a good Thursday. Thanks for watching. Thanks for all my subscribers. Um, you know, God bless. And I guess we'll see you Monday, Tuesday for... Uh, bench update or the moto goozy knock on wood should be done by then um of course things always come up so anyway guys y'all take care we'll see you uh see you soon thanks